Now, most of us have heard of stem cells and perhaps even the controversy that surrounds them. Although they are often discussed, not many people fully understand them. Well, Laura Markova lent her face to science to help us get a better under understanding of just what these cells can do. Our bodies are made up of trillions of cells. Most have specific functions and can only reproduce as that same kind of cell. Since billions of them die naturally every day, they need to be replaced. Enter the stem cells. Found all over the body, these non-specialized cells can reproduce indefinitely and take on the properties of any other cell. So adult stem cells can be extracted from a person's own body and stimulated to become part of an organ that needs healing. They've been used for um, leukemias, bone cancers. They will also be used for cartilage problems, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis. But while some systems in our bodies, like hair and skin, can readily regenerate, others, like the brain and the heart, cannot. This is why some scientists have done research with embryonic stem cells, which they claim can replace every single part of the body. Embryonic stem cells in which you have to kill the embryo, so which is why it is a more controversial issue. So it is not yet being used in medicine from the embryonic point of view, but as an adult stem cells it can be used. Aside from use in life-saving medical treatments, these tiny superheroes can also serve a different purpose. So far, the most common use for human stem cells is for the treatment of different types of cancers, such as leukemia, where bone marrow transplants are used. But there are also these synthetic stem cells, which are now used in cosmetic dermatology. Let's see how they work. For the first time in the Middle East, a new skin treatment is using synthetic stem cells. This serum contains peptides that mimic the human cell DNA structure. It's a cell, but created in a laboratory. Uh, it's cloned to the neuron cell of human, uh, which is considered to be more safest and uh, stable when we are using it as, as in the cosmetic form. So I wash my face and give it a go. First the serum is applied and then a small needling device creates thousands of microchannels in my skin to let the stem cells in. It divides itself into the tissue of the skin and helps to build up the required tissue, for example the fibroblast formation, which help in collagen building of the tissue. These stem cells should work their magic over time, so to see the real results of this treatment, you'll simply have to keep tuning in. Laura Markova, Emirates News.